So we started Monzo just over two years ago. Um, we were looking at the banking industry and realized that it was just very stuck in the past compared to almost every other industry. You look at food delivery or taxi cabs or ordering online and all of these things have suddenly been brought up into the 21st century and you can order an Amazon delivery to be delivered the next day to you or within an hour if you're in London, you can get a car to your door within 20 minutes. Uh, and banking just felt totally the opposite. Anything you wanted to do, you had to call them up on the phone or go into a branch even to open an account and everything required paper to do. It wasn't something that most people nowadays are used to. And so we wanted to fix that. And we started off by building a prepaid card because we wanted to really learn how people use their money. And alongside that, we went to go and get a banking license. Unfortunately, taking a banking license takes a long time and a lot of money. And so we wanted to really get going as soon as possible, hence the prepaid card. So we launched the prepaid card in October 2015, initially to a very, very small group of users. And we originally thought that it would be a very small trial. We would send it to two or 3,000 people, something like that, and, and that would be it. And then we would get the banking license and eventually launch a current account. And things didn't go quite to plan, uh, luckily in a good way, in that people really liked the prepaid card. We built in features that let you do budgeting and split bills with friends and really understand how you're spending. And people kept referring their friends and kept signing people up. And so across all of last year in 2016, we kept signing people up and growth really started to take off. In August 2016, we got our um, provisional banking license, our restricted banking license from the regulators. And that's the, a huge step on, on the path of getting a banking license. So it basically means that the regulators are, are going to give you a banking license, a full banking license, but um, you, you have a few restrictions, so you can only take £50,000 of deposits in total, for example. It allows you to start building systems and connecting into other payment processes, things like that. So we got that and then we continued to grow the prepaid scheme. Uh, in January 2017, we hit 100,000 users on the prepaid scheme, which at the time seemed like a lot. And then in April or May of this year, 2017, we hit 250,000 users. So over the last six months, it's just really ballooned and, and continues to grow. We're growing at about 5% every week at the moment. In April of this year, 2017, we got uh, the best news, the one we've been waiting for for a long time. We got the full banking license um, from the FCA and the PRA. And so that means we're now in a position to, to start opening current accounts for people. We're still in a phase right now of, of testing that out and making sure we're happy to roll it out because obviously now we have 270, 280,000 users, so we need to be sure it's ready. So we're testing that internally at the moment in the company, and over the next few weeks, we'll hopefully start rolling that out to small numbers of people. And then towards the end of this year, we'll look to roll it out to all of our customers and then open it up to the wider public. Once we've got the current account out, I think the exciting bit starts, really. The current account is just the first hurdle. We want to build something that helps people with their, their money every day. Um, in a way that banking doesn't right now. It's, at the moment, it's a place to store your money and then you have to deal with everything else after that. We want to make it the equivalent of kind of your independent financial advisor, but one that's in your pocket and that's available to everyone, not just people with money. And so that's the next step. Once we've launched current accounts out to everybody to start building those systems and those processes. Um, and so that's things like if you get paid extra, we can help you decide what to do with that money. Or if you're running low on funds one, one month because you've had to buy presents for people or you've been laid off, then we can also try and help you save money and tell you how to do that. And so to support that, we're going to integrate with other providers. We want to focus on a current account ourselves. We don't want to build every other product. If you go to another bank's website at the moment, it's full of every single product they offer. You can get credit cards, mortgages, loans, uh, how, home insurance, it's just crazy. So instead, we want to build a current account, make it really amazing for people, and then connect into other providers that do their thing uh, the best. So whether that's someone like Ratesetter or Zopa who does peer-to-peer -peer ICES, or um, even things like home insurance. Uh, there are so many different categories that people 
that touch people's money every single day. And so we want to help people with those, integrate into them and help you move your money around. Then we can do things like if you have a little bit of money left over at the end of the month, we can say, hey, why don't you put that into an ISA? And then we can actually do the move for you and we can put that money into your ISA for you every month. If you, uh, your energy bill comes out, we can say, hey, most people are paying half what you're paying. Would you like to move to X energy company? And then do the switch for you. And suddenly for consumers, it becomes totally hassle-free. Suddenly everything that revolves around your money, not just your money, but everything that ever touches your money is handled for you and hopefully to your advantage. So over the next two or three years, that's the, the big vision and what we want to work on. And we'll do that rolling out in the UK and then hopefully to Europe and the rest of the world.